Hey, what's going on millionaires and visionaries? Jerry here once again with another wealth principle. This one is unescapable if you plan on building wealth. Now, I'll get into it in a second, but before I do, I want you to take a pen and paper and write down the five most important things to you in your life right now. I'll tell you why at the end of this, but let number one be the most important, number two, second important, and so on. And I'll tell you why at the end of this, so stay tuned, okay? Now, get into the content here. If you're studying wealth principles, wouldn't it be wise to study the wealthiest group of people on the planet? Yes, I'm talking about the Jews. They are the wealthiest people on the planet. Think about it. They only take up 2% of the United States population. But if you're born a Jew, you're 17 times more likely to end up on the Forbes top 400 list. And in the world globally, if you're born a Jew, you're 100 times more likely to become a billionaire than anyone else on the planet. That's crazy, isn't it? Well, why is that? My bishop this past Sunday actually revealed some of their secrets. He has a close friend that's a rabbi. He wrote him a letter about wealth and you know the current status of you know the economy economy and everything. And one of the principles that uh, this rabbi shared is something called Natan. It's from a Hebrew word that means to give. And if you look for a simple of Natan, it's basically like a hand like this and a hand like this. If you could get one word for this right here, one person might say giving. Other person might say receiving. Bishop went on to say, most of us are taught you have to give in order to receive, right? Well, the truth is giving is receiving. It's how we should be thinking about it. A little research on my own and there's also another practice called says daka and that's another another hebrew word that basically means charitable giving okay or says i found another abstract article by uh somebody's name is matthias uh Ephigica. i'm just going to read that here where natan is believed to have been translated over two thousand times in the bible that's powerful in ancient sumerian text which is the oldest human recorded documents of people being people on the planet they basically have the word natan that is actually a word that means to receive. So that's pretty interesting. When you think about the word Natan, N-A-T-A-N, spell it backwards, it's the same word. Giving is receiving. It's pretty cool, huh? Now, I'm not going to go too much further than that concept. I'm pretty sure you got it. But it's really important that we do give. And the Bible says, hey, you're supposed to tithe. And tithe literally means 10% of, of your produce, of your blessing, of your earning, of your cash. You know, and, and give it back to the kingdom for kingdom building or give it to the less fortunate. You know, a lot of people say, well, I don't want to give my money to a church or so give it to the less fortunate. But also think about how that money, if you gave it to a bigger cause, how much more people can do with the larger sum of money helping out anyone that's less fortunate. The way I like to think about it as well as how it works is when you give, especially out of faith, you expand yourself. OK, and, and you allow room for God to work in your life. Think about if you're in a pool and you go like this, if you're swimming, when you go like this, what happens? When you go like this, the water fills in almost instantly. And when you give, you allow God to fill in your life. And he's not gonna put in what you gave, what you gave out. He's gonna put in more and he's gonna overflow for you in your life. So it's impossible for me to give you guys wealth concepts without uh, giving you that one as well. Giving or not give. Should I give to a church? They're going to misappropriate the funds. The pastor going to drive a nice car. Am I going to worry about all that? Whatever God puts in your heart to give, just do it. Do it out of faith. And it will come back to you. The Jewish people have proven that concept. They're the biggest group of givers on the planet as well. Almost 24% of the mega donations done in the United States are Jewish. And I'm talking about billions of dollars. The wealth shift from this generation to the next gen Jewish generation, we're talking trillions of dollars is about to be passed down to the heirs, okay? So it's a, it's a principle that they live by. Principle I definitely want to throw out there to you all. Investing 10% and giving 10%, that's really easy to do. If you can't find the money to do that, get rid of the stuff that's not serving you in your life. Trust me, it's powerful stuff that you have to get rid of in order to be free from the bondage that you're, you're trapped in right now. I mean, I'm going to prove it to you right now. Remember those five things that I told you to write down? How many people put God or themselves at one or two? How many people instead put something like my cell phone is most important to me, a Visa or MasterCard is most important to me, or, or the internet is most important to me, right? But then when you get paid, when you get a blessing, what's the first thing that you do, right? We pay a bill with it. You know, we go to the club with it. We ball it. We go buy some trash with it. <laughs> leaving us out of the cycle of wealth right there. A lot of people already make enough money to become wealthy. They just have to unlock it. 
And there's also there's secrets that you can do to the income that you already have to grow it. And it's called income shifting. You can learn more at assetclass101.com slash secret. And I'm not here to put the Bible here and make money there. I'm here to really give you something that's going to be beneficial to you so that you can give so that you can fund your dreams, so you can break free from bondage, so you can do whatever you want to do in life and live a bigger life. You weren't sent here to this planet to work, pay bills, and die. So we have to do things in an extraordinary way to get extraordinary results. I didn't mean for this video to be that long, sorry about that. Those five things, I want you to think about it. Give back to your kingdom, give back to yourself, give back to your family, invest your way to wealth, strategize your way to wealth, and that's about it, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Check me out at jerrygoins.com if you want more information about what I do. Other than that, I want y'all to stay blessed. Peace. Peace.